Why, why can't we see all stars in the universe? The light hasn't reached them yet. So often it takes, you know, maybe, you know, sometimes it takes about 10 years of, of research and then you get to the end and then you have a big discovery and it happens faster than you expect. I really wanted to be an inventor when I was growing up or do something with engineering. And then I ended up working at an observatory for a summer. And after that, I ended up, after college, going into a PhD program to try to do astronomy instrumentation. And then I spent three years working as a postdoc at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory for NASA's Terrestrial Planet Finder mission. From there, I went to Germany, building a next generation instrument to be able to image planets around stars. There was a star, this one star that I'd been observing actually for about three years with a Palomar telescope. To be able to image this object, we had to be able to be able to image an incredibly faint point of light around this glaring bright star, and we had to identify that point of light as being separate from the light from the star. Imaging exoplanets is incredibly difficult to do, so we tried to be very careful and try to put stops in to make sure that we were checking and double checking and triple checking that it was a real bound object and not just a stray bit of light or maybe a background star way in the distance. And we really felt confident that it was a true object when we started to be able to see that it was orbiting around the star itself. And then we really felt that this was a true brown dwarf or exoplanet that was orbiting around it. So it was listed in Time Magazine's top 10 scientific discoveries of 2009. So it came in just at number 10. The most exciting thing about making a new discovery is thinking about all of the next things that you're going to do rather than what you've just done. I think is for me is the most exciting part. And then here we have the very first stars that are happening of this reionization. And then later on, we form galaxies. A lot of the questions, or even responses that I get from students, uh, genuinely do make me rethink things. I don't know, is there any other reason why you might expect that there would be life outside of Earth? Yeah? For the students that I do research with, having them ask me, why are you doing this instead of doing this? Um, this takes twice as long, why are we doing it? And to come up with a good explanation, you have to make sure that you can remind yourself why you're doing it one way and not another way and how things would be different um, if we changed our approach to our observing or our experimentation.